Hey, I'm the Supervisor Richard Forrester, and I have never heard of Ernie Bird just running out of hot air, so I don't think we have to worry about the balloons. They'll, they'll find a way there. Um, we have a um, short meeting today. Uh, well, it should have been a short meeting. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, we had about five agenda items, and three of those are, are very short. But uh, anyway, uh, starting off Board of Supervisors meeting for the 23rd of July, and this is uh, the uh, last meeting uh, pre-fair. We had some uh, commendations made, uh, resolutions recognizing Susie Morton and uh, Roger Stewart, 24-year uh, county employees, each of them. Susie Morton worked in the uh, auditor's office, uh, daughter of Babe and Marie Garbarini, if, you, uh, if anyone remembers that name around the county, longtime Amateur County residents. But uh, Susie actually got her first job proofing the newspaper at the Ledger Dispatch and then uh, sometime later went back to work there. A couple other various jobs, worked at a teller for about uh, eight years before coming to the county auditor's office and that was after having three children and marrying Mark Morton. Um, but in 1989, Susie came to the auditor's office under county auditor John Kirkpatrick at that time as an account clerk three. 24 years later under uh, county auditor Joe Lowe, Susie retired under the position of payroll specialist two, which is basically the top of the ladder. So uh, congratulations to Susie. She's going to enjoy her grandkids and uh, doing some of the things she hasn't had time to do all of these years. Roger Stewart, same thing, 24 years of service with the county. Um, Roger started actually with Rod Schuler in the uh, Public Works Department in 1989 as a uh, junior civil engineer. He picked up his civil engineering degree from uh, the Oregon Institute of Technology and got a uh, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering there. Prior to that, he picked up a uh, forestry management degree in 1981 from Purdue University. But um, in uh, July of 2006, Roger was promoted to the senior project engineer and held that position until his retirement or pending retirement at the end of this month. And uh, Roger, uh, one thing that was noted, has always strived, and Susie also, uh, very helpful to uh, supervisors and public anytime questions were asked. Roger was always uh, willing to go out into the field with supervisors, very good at working with the public and uh, trying to solve problems. That's what it's all about, to make it easier for the public. We also had a, super, a, um, a resolution presented to the Emmerich County Historical Society. Uh, Phil Jelani was in as the president and Georgia Fox as a member of the society to uh, pick up that uh, resolution, but this is basically honoring them, uh, ongoing resolution, uh, basically an ongoing process of honoring them for opening up the museum. The uh, museum was closed in 2008 because of ongoing structural issues which uh, were costing the county a lot of money every time we tried to fix, especially the first time when we pulled the roof off. I think about $400,000 later, we finally had a fix in place. Uh, fortunately, that seemed to be the biggest fix, but uh, you never know what's going to happen when you pull an old building apart. Well, Historical Society took that chance. They made a deal with the Board of Supervisors in um, May of this year. And June 15, 2013, uh, the museum was reopened. And uh, I think they're open about four days a week now. So thanks to this Historical Society for their work. Um, Sierra Nevada Conservancy uh, Executive Officer was in Jim Branham talking about what the uh, Sierra Nevada Conservancy has done. The uh, Conservancy makes up about 25 million acres. Uh, that's about a quarter of our state of California. Some of our um, legislators in Sacramento don't seem to respect that. Every time uh, a bond measure comes up and uh, different conservancies are funded, they have their pet conservancies like the uh, Coastal Conservancy or the Tahoe Conservancy. Sure, um, the coast is beautiful. The uh, Tahoe area is definitely beautiful, but you have um, all of the counties within that 25 million acres that uh, have the watershed areas that basically supply most of the water for our state, including uh, much of Southern California. So Conservancy started seven years ago. As um, uh, Mr. Branham indicated, it's always a challenge. And Jim Branham is a former Deputy Secretary of Cal EPA. That wasn't exactly the best fit for him, uh, being, uh, I, I would say he's more modern and, and middle of the road, but uh, with our state, it w probably wasn't the best fit, so he came over to the Conservancy, where they work on uh, recreation tourism, geotourism, 
uh, natural resource issues, working landscapes, fire suppression, thinning activities, uh, he so health forest restoration is a big part of many of their activities now. They also have a great Sierra River cleanup, which happens every September. But their main goal is to improve the environmental, economic, and social well-being of the uh, Sierra Nevada region. And uh, with that, uh, we had eight grantees in the uh, Amador area that uh, received a total of $1.058 million. So uh, a pretty good chunk of change where you can go in and get matching funds. I know our Fire Safe Council, uh, the Calaveras Consensus Group, and uh, uh, there are studies that are taking place on the Mokalmi River to look at um, uh, the health of the Mokalmi River and the area uh, adjoining the Mokalmi River. So good activities taking place, always a funding challenge as Mr. Branham indicated. Um, by the way, uh, we are in a five county region, Mariposa, Calaveras, and several other counties, but uh, I think there's 23 counties in all uh, that make up the uh, Sierra Nevada Conservancy. Uh, w with that, there's uh, five supervisors that are represented and is a 13 member board. So there's members of the um, private sector, uh, there's members of different uh, organizations and agencies. Some of those agencies are ad hoc. Lastly, we had um, the Health Benefits Committee, uh, uh, County Assessor Jim Rooney, uh, Environmental Health Director Mike Israel presented their report from their committee, which basically looked at um, the costs for covering um, the medical, the dental, the vision, and uh, life insurance and other things for county employees. Um, most of those costs will not go up this year. Medical is going up by three quarters of a percent, which is uh, very small compared to what it has. But um, the county employees are covered through the, the California State Association of Counties Environmental um, Excess Insurance Authority. There we go. So it is a CSAC EIA is what we normally call that. Um, with that, um, most counties, most organizations are seeing uh, as much as 5% increases. We're seeing that three-quarter increase this year, which is very nominal. Uh, on the dental side, the um, employee group is recommending that the county cough up um, almost $11,000 to increase benefits, increase um, their benefits so that they have a $2,000 max. They're seeing things like root canals and things that You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. 75th Anniversary Fair Savings at New York Fitness. $100 punch cards only $75. Or two months membership, just $75. Good through August 31st, 2013. Roaring Camp. Mining gold paint.